Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick look at the market share for operating systems for desktop and laptop computers, uh, you know, Windows, Mac OS and uh, Linux. And of course, we will take a look and compare that to June. So you see here we have June 2017 written there. So this is the pie chart for June. And here we have July 2017 pie chart for July. So these numbers are taken directly from the netmarketshare.com website, as you see. And so how does Windows actually, um, Windows 10, increase or not compared to other months? And what's happening with the operating systems? Okay, first of all, let's talk about the most dominant. It's still Windows 7, 48.91% for July of 2017. If we compare that to um, June of 2017, June was 49.04, so we're down from 49.04 to 48.91. A slight decrease, um, but I believe that is kind of in the mar the error margin of the, the, the survey, so it's, you know, slight decrease, but not much. Where there's an interesting increase, it's Windows 10. Windows 10 for the month of uh, July, 27.63%. Now, if we compare that to the month of June, it was 26.8. It's almost a full percent, not very far from a full percent increase, which is quite good, actually. So um, I think there was a little bump here, and it might have something to do with the WannaCry, um, you know, ransomware thing where a lot of people suddenly notice that maybe we should move on to some more advanced and newer Windows operating system. Then we have third place, Windows 8.1 at 6.48. 6.48 compared to 6.4, actually within the margin of error, so it didn't kind of really increase or not, it's just somewhere there. So uh, Windows 8.1 kind of stagnating more than anything else. Then we have Windows XP at 6.1. If we look at uh, June, it was at 6.94. It was actually more popular than Windows 8.1. So Windows XP now at 6.1 is uh, lost almost a percent also. Actually, it lost close to the same amount that Windows 10 gained. So I wonder if that has to do with maybe um, the um, want to cry problems. Then finally, if we look at the other operating system, Mac OS 10.12, that's Mac OS Sierra, the latest operating system of uh, Mac 3.52. The overall Mac market is a little bigger because part of it is in other. Other is, you know, Mac OS 10 point six seven eight nine ten eleven. So um, it, it probably, in total, probably is closer to like you know, 5% here, I would say. Uh, we have, if, if not 6%. Then we have the original, um, we have Linux, sorry. Linux at 2.53. How, how much was Linux at the other month before? So Linux was at 2.36. It is gaining slightly. It's going to be interesting to see because I believe Linux has been gaining, even if it's small, it's been gaining a little bit in the past six months. And that's going to be interesting to see if Linux can uh, maybe, you know, get bigger than, say, Mac OS, that'd be an interesting one. Finally, Others is, uh, well, Windows 8, original version at 1.42. And Others at 3.42, which is, I would guess like that, is probably a, a, a good chunk of it is Mac OS older versions. So I would, you know, t technically I would take Mac OS 10.12, 3.5, and Other 3.4 and shove all of that into uh, probably a 7% market share for Mac because we have Linux in a separate value here. So uh, Windows 7 pretty much stable, Windows 10 gaining almost a percent and Windows XP losing almost a percent so it seems to be kind of a, a, an exchange there and people need to be modernizing their equipment. It's always nice to have these numbers for the operating systems. So. Um, that's July versus the month of June. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And thank you for watching.